Today I'm going to show you how to create this Robin Mead inspired landscape. First we're going to start with the foreground which is the part of the landscape that is closest to us. I'm going to start by making some waves inspired by Robin Mead's artwork. All I'm doing is I'm making some spirals and then adding a little curved tail at the end of my spirals. You could make these really big. You could make them smaller. You can add three or four or five, however many you would like. Robin Mead also likes to add some flowers into the foreground of her landscape. You don't have to add flowers, but this is just an idea to kind of add more detail and break up the drawing a little bit more. How I like to make petals, and this just kind of helps me make them more even in size and shape, is I'll draw a line, and then on one side of the line, I'll make a C, and then on the other, I'll do a backward C. Now remember, your flower petals don't have to be perfect in shape or size, just do the best that you can. You'll also notice that my flowers are going off the page. You could do that as well, or you could just make the whole flower. It's really up to you. Next, I'm going to break up the foreground even more by adding some more waves, but this time they're just going to be curved lines. So you can see I did a wavy line or I did another line that is kind of like used. They just go up and down and up and down. You could do one or the other or a mixture of both. I want to make sure that I add a horizon line as well. Remember, that's where the sky meets the land or the water. Next, I'm going to draw some hills or mountains. Remember, hills or mountains aren't just a curved line. They're more jaggedy. They have ridges. So you want to make sure that your lines for those are more like a wave instead of just like a rainbow curve. I might add a couple layers of those just to, again, kind of break up the middle ground. Add a big curve for the sun. And then I'm going to break up the background or the sky a little bit more. Um, and I'm just using some straight or diagonal lines to make sun rays. Breaking up our paper into sections like this helps us create more detail and make our art look more interesting. Next, Robin Mead will sometimes include um, Zen tangle or line designs in her artwork. So I'm just doing that and they don't have to be too complicated. You could make them a little more complicated if you want to challenge yourself that way. But all I'm really doing is making these little line marks and designs. So like doing this crisscross or just doing some horizontal lines, some zigzags. I can put examples of these up on the board today. But just any, anything that comes to your imagination will work. And I'm not filling in every single section with lines, just a few. Again, this is just to make my art look more interesting and fun. I'm going to break up the waves even more too. There's two ways I'm going to show you how to color your landscape. The first way is to use markers and crayons. So what I'm doing is I'm outlining each section of my picture with the marker and then coloring in the center with crayon. Because in Robin Mead's paintings, it's kind of what her art looks like. She has some really bold lines on the outside of the shapes and then some lighter color on the inside or the middle. Another thing you could do is add is do watercolor if you don't want to use marker and crayon. And you can see here with my watercolor, I'm adding little dabs of color into the warm colors, like red and orange. And then I'm even mixing some colors to give my, my painting more variety as well. You'll notice that some of my watercolor might be bleeding a little bit. And in order to avoid that, you want to make sure you're using more paint and less water, especially on this thin paper. 
here is what my project looks like when it's all finished. I hope you have lots of fun with this.